In the past 500 years, the whole of human technology has changed more than it ever has in the past 2,000 years before, and this was widely due to the scientific revolution. But what really started off the scientific revolution? What changed our perspective about everything we thought we knew about? What broke the human barrier of sight, medicine, and physics? The microscope. To first understand the microscope, though, we have to understand its first and original creation and how slowly, over decades, it was introduced to the world, changing it forever. Going back to the beginning of the first compound microscope, it all goes back to around the Netherlands in 1590 with the glassmakers Zacharias Janssen and his father Hans. They made primarily spectacles for people to see, but did experiment with their lenses quite a bit. They eventually created the first microscope, well, that is, compound microscope, by putting many convex lenses in a metal tube. These early microscopes were often called flea lenses, as they could see only 6 to 10 times magnification, and were often used to see small insects, such as fleas. Even though that Zacharias had a detailed depiction of their invention, he was never truly taken sp seriously in his time, and it is still argued today if they truly did invent the first microscope. Fast forwarding 29 years, and we received the first true documentation of a compound microscope by the Dutch ambassador William Borel. But the true inventor of this amazing device was Cornelius Drebbel, who was made fa famous for many of his inventions, one of which being the first true submarine. But what was very special about his microscope is that he would go on to present it to many great scientists in Rome in 1622, one of those scientists being the great Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei would go on to perfect Drebbel's microscope, and soon knowledge about his amazing microscope would spread all over civilized Europe. Many great scientists and historians would document about the microscope. A scientist in particular named Robert Hooke would eventually take a liking to the microscope and improved it enough to be able to see the cells of a piece of cork. He coined the term cells in the cork after seeing the small rooms which he had seen monks live in. He published the world-changing book Microphasia, which detailed his microscopic findings. Then, in 1675, Anton van Leeuwenhoek changed the world by changing up his microscope a small amount and discovering bacteria for the first time. When that barrier of sight was broken, it led to a million other barriers being broken as well. One of the main areas that was changed was medicine, because once the bacteria were found by the medical community, germ theory was confirmed. Before then, they just thought that having too much blood caused fevers and such, but now the entire medical field was rebuilt. The knowledge of bacteria and cells made people look even deeper into the microscope, and from that discovery of what up of cells, they eventually were able to look at what the entire world was made up of in the year 1800, when John Dalton proved the evidence of atoms and created atomic theory, breaking the barrier of physics and discovering the secrets of the Earth and the universe. From the first claims of the invention all the way back in the 1500s, all the way to 2020, the microscope has undeniably changed the world in a thousand different ways, invented a thousand inventions, and saved tens of millions of lives, and started the scientific revolution that would change humanity and the world forever.